I'm Jack Pupin. I'm here in my house in Connecticut, cooking in my ch chicken, no, <laughs> cooking in my kitchen by myself. I used to have a better partner than that, and that was, of course, Julia. As you can see, I have two glasses here, one for me and maybe one for her, just in case she show up. You never know with Julia. <laughs> so, here is to Julia. Anyway, this is great to remembering all those fantastic here that we had together. You know, there is so many, many things to remember about Julia. Me, I mean, I met Julia in 1960. I spoke French with Julia at that time. Her French was better than my English. She just came from France. And uh, she didn't write for a paper. She never did a book. She had never done television. So it was, uh, she was quite unknown, actually. And um, she had written that, at least the manuscript of Mastering the Art of French Cooking. And that's why we were together in New York when I met her the first time. And since then we became friends and it was a friendship who lasted close to half a century with a lot of food, a lot of wine, a lot of good moments together. And that's what we want to remember. Julia and Julia was finishing arranging all on the table. I put my knife on the table. She took it to cut, you know, a tomato or something and took the end of her finger off. But a fairly large piece here, so I push it back together, we put a piece of, um, I mean, a towel around, and she said, that's fine, that's fine, she was a real trooper this way. And she said, no one will know about it, I'd rather not talk about it, and, uh, and uh, we'll cook, Jacques is going to cook, I'll test, no one will know about it, it's better. And basically that's what we did. After the show, we went to the hospital, she had stitches, and we went to a champagne at Jean Bertrandou till like three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I think two days later she was on the, on Johnny Carson show. They talked about that. A week later I was with her on Catherine Grosby's show in San Francisco, and we did omelette together. Well, all they talked about was her finger, and finally that's what happened on Saturday Night Live. Uh, and she loved it actually. Well, that's a terrific memory. IECP used to be a smaller organization uh, than it is now, and we really got together and had a, a great time, still do, but differently and for years and years. But well, Julia and I weren't. I know I was very assiduous, you know, going every year and every year. And Julia too, she was very enamored and loved IACP. She thought that it was the type of organization uh, which had no, uh, you know, political or, or uh, profile or anything like this. All the idea was to network and find job and put people into cooking. And uh, so she loved that because she was very generous this way to help people. So each time we would go there with her and Barbara Fanzel and Susie Davidson and uh, other people, we would get together and spend a, a great way, you know, talking about what was going on in the food world, but especially drinking and having a good time together. And that from Dallas to uh, New York to uh, you name it, to, to San Francisco, to uh, we, we did many, many cities together having fun. Yes, when I think of Julia, I think first a certain honesty you know, in, in cuisine. I mean, her was a cuisine with taste, you know, taste was the important part of it, much more than decoration. Simplicity of, uh, of recipe, you know, certainly a quality of ingredient. I mean, cooking together and something true, I mean, real food, you know, what we do. I remember at the time of Nouvelle Cuisine when we started grilling vegetables, she said, I hate grilled vegetables. They are raw and they are burned at the same time. You know? So she was like that. She really tell you what she thinks, what she thought about anything. So it was fun to be with her. You knew where you stand. Well, you know, we can talk about Julia for hours and hours. There are so many people. Uh, she touched the life of so many people and she was the first one to help. The, the, the little cook who just started, whether it was either on television or writing a book or a recipe or the student at the school, either at the French Culinary Institute in New York or at the Boston University, she was always excited and happy to be with students. And people understood and knew that that would be her legacy. And Julia, here is to you. I wish you were with us today. I know you are somewhere looking at us and smiling and changing the food wherever you are. So 
here is to you. Thank you again for all those years and all that love.